We're Ashley and Christian, and we started traveling together in March of 2017 and haven't stopped since. After visiting over 30 countries across four continents, we've become hooked on seeing, tasting, and trying new things. Being pushed out of our comfort zones while traveling has inspired us to set a crazy goal of visiting every country in the world. Good morning everyone. We are getting ready to head to Bulgaria. We just arrived here at the train station and we're getting ready to pick up our tickets, hopefully. It's been a bit of a confusing time trying to figure out where to find the tickets at, but I think we found them. I think uh, we're in front of the International Rail Tickets office. I see our tickets. She's fronting them. This is a mess! Thank you so much. She did not seem happy to see me, but I'm very happy to see her. We're planning on taking the train from Bucharest to Sofia. Uh, number one, make sure that you go to the International Ticket Office, because that makes sense, right? You're going between countries. We were going to Rus first, that's where we changed trains, so we thought maybe the local train office, but no, go to the International Office. If you buy them online, you have to pick them up at the train station. You only have until 30 minutes before the train leaves. So make sure that you're on time for that. We got our tickets, and then they come with seat reservations, like seat numbers. We got enough groceries to last um, like two days. It should be fine and comfy for the next 10 or 11 hours, I think. We get to Sophia at like nine o'clock, I think, tonight. So we're ready. As long as they have chargers, that's all we need. Finally made it onto the train and it came very quick and it left very quick. This is not the same train. Either they've changed it or it's not running as usual. Because usually it's a very older style car train. Um, they have outlets in that one but no AC. Where this one has AC but no outlets. So yeah, you kind of pick your poison. <laughs> you get one or the other at least. Honestly, it's comfy. It just feels like a normal commuter car. This is where we will sit for like two hours until we change the car to Sophia. We woke up this morning and like dum-dums, we did not charge our phones last night before we got on this 11 hour train. And on top of it, all of our battery charges were out. So I was like, hmm, I noticed sometimes when I fly the drone, the charging from the controller works. So I think it's working though. <laughs> I'm at 19% and um, hopefully these two little charges get me somewhere. <laughs> crossing over into Bulgaria via the train and the police came by and took our passports to verify. Yeah, he's got a stack of passports about like this thick right now. They come and get your passport, stamp you out of Romania into Bulgaria, and then they theoretically bring them back. There he goes. <laughs> there go our passports. <laughs> he asked us where we were going next and I could not remember. <laughs> I had me same. I was like, we're going to Sofia and like after that. I don't remember. Italy? That's in a long time. Yeah. We got our passports back, and looking at the stamps, this is just the control to get out of Romania. I'm assuming another Bulgarian guard will come by and stamp us into Bulgaria, because we just got stamped out of Romania as well. We're moving, so we'll probably cross the border first. So far, yeah. so good. Crossing was easy. He just took our passports when we got into Bulgaria and stamped them in. And now we are on our train. This one has outlets, but no AC. But the outlets aren't working for us right now for some reason. But we got the windows down. It doesn't feel the worst. 
I'm just glad that we can take a shower tonight. <laughs> this is a about seven hour train ride to Sofia. And so we will be in this cabin for the next seven hours. This is like the hottest day I think they've had all year is what some people were saying. <laughs> and of course we choose to ride the train on this day. So we were over 30 minutes late coming into Roos, but the train to Sofia waited for us. Don't be too concerned if you're coming in late. I think these trains are kind of like they wait for one another, so if you do come in late, this train will still be waiting for you, at least from our experience. We've had no problems so far. Border was very easy. The border guy on this side was really nice. Everyone's just been very nice, so that's been nice. <laughs> in case you needed a visual of how hot it is today, this is our bar of chocolate. It's, uh, it hasn't been in direct sunlight or anything. It's just been in our food bag, but, uh, We'll be sticking this in the fridge when we get to Sofia and eating it later. Or we could drink it out. Like liquid chocolate. We have been stopped now for about 15, 20 minutes. We don't really know where we are, but we did drink almost four liters of water today and it feels nice outside and it's still like 90. That's how warm we've been. It feels good out and it's 90 degrees. We're hoping the train gets moving soon because I think we're still probably like an hour away from Sofia and it said we'd be there at eight and it is nine. So we're hoping to get in by like 10 or 11 tonight and hopefully can find some food. It is now 9.50 and we are finally pulling into Sofia Central after almost 12 hours on trains today, which the, the time was fine. The like, trains were extremely comfortable. It was, it was really just the heat. If it wasn't so hot today, it would have been great. Other than that, we had a fine time. I'm hoping that we pull in soon, we can get off quickly and get walking to our Airbnb. Our phones have like 5% each left. We've been keeping them on airplane mode so that we can make it to the Airbnb.